Here are some more integration problems from the basic integration techniques. So for our first problem, we have nothing in the numerator. So I can't use u substitution because the derivative of x squared is x and I don't have any x's in my um, numerator. However, I can apply, um, I could probably use one of the um, inverse trig functions. But before I can do that, I have to complete the square for this. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the 32 off to the side and I'm gonna figure out what number I need to add and subtract to complete this square. Well, half of negative six is negative three, and if I square that, I get a positive nine. So I'm gonna add nine, and I'm gonna minus nine. Now that means here, I get x minus three squared, usually whatever you have here before you square it. And then negative nine and 32 is actually going to be um, 23. And so then I can rewrite this integral as x minus 3 squared plus the square root of 23 squared. And if I use u as x minus 3, du is just dx. So again, indicate this is all just side work. Make sure you put your equal signs here. And I'm going to use sub. So this is going to be 1 over u squared plus the square root of 23 squared du. Now if you look in your, or if you have them handy, um, here we go. I have a squared plus u squared and the denominator. Or u squared plus a squared. Adding is commutative, so either way. So I get 1 over a, a being square root of 23. So 1 over the square root of 23, arc 10 of u over a, plus c, of course. Now, I do have a couple problems with this. Um, well, one main issue is that you can't leave it in terms of u. So you do have to go back and back sub. And u was x minus 3. And this, the computer will accept. You don't need to rationalize the denominator. I typically like to rationalize the denominators and sometimes do it by default. But the computer does accept the answer like that for these particular problems. Um, example 4 is very similar. So if I take 4x minus x squared, I need to rearrange that. Um, and then I need to factor out the negative because you usually don't complete the square with the negative. So I have this negative in here. And I need to figure out what I need to add and what I need to subtract on the inside. So again, half of negative 4 is negative 2. And if I square that, I get positive 4. So I'm going to add 4 and I'm going to minus 4. So this part here, <coughs> excuse me will become x minus 2 squared. And if I distribute this minus out here, I'll have x minus 2 squared and then positive 4. Or it can be written as 4 minus x minus 2 squared. So when I'm coming here, I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over the square root so 4 minus x minus 2 squared dx. And if you let u equal x minus 2, du will just be dx. So if I substitute in there, I get the square root of 2 squared minus u squared du. Now that again follows one of my formulas. Here we have a squared minus u squared, which is arc sine. So we get arc sine of u over a, which is 2 in this case, plus c. And then we do have the back sub. So u was x minus 2. 
And now the problem is complete.